Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vishali and today we will learn about PyTorch NN Corn 2D. And the following are the topics that we are going to discuss. Firstly, we will understand about PyTorch NN Corn 2D. And after that, we will discuss about PyTorch NN Corn 2D example. And then, we will understand about PyTorch NN Functional Corn 2D. And after that, we will discuss about PyTorch NN Corn 2D Padding Same. And then, we will understand about PyTorch NN Corn 2D Group. And in the last, we will discuss about PyTorch NN Corn 2D Dilation. So without any delay, let's jump to the topic and discuss about PyTorch NN Corn 2D. The PyTorch NN Corn 2D is defined as a two-dimensional convolution that is applied over an input that is specified by the user and the particular shape of the input is given in the form of channels, length and width and the output is in the form of convoluted manner. The syntax of the PyTorch NN Con 2D is torch.nn.con 2D function. And within this function, we are using some parameters. The first parameter is in underscore channel that is used as several channels in the input image. The next parameter is out underscore channels that is used as the number of channels produced by the convolution. The next parameter is kernel underscore size. The kernel underscore size is used to define the size of the convolving kernel. The next parameter is stride that is used to control the stride for the cross coloration a single number or a tuple. The default value of stride is 1. The next parameter is padding that is used to control the amount of padding applied to the input. It can be either string or a tuple of giving the amount of implicit padding. The default value of padding is 0. The next parameter is dilation that is used to control the spacing between the kernel elements and the default value of dilation is 1. The next parameter is groups. The groups are used to control the connection between the inputs and outputs. The default value of groups is 1. The last parameter but not the least is bias. The default value of bias is true. If it is true, it adds a learnable bias to the output. If it is false, it does not add any label bias to the output. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch NN Con 2D example. The PyTorch NN Con 2D applies a two-dimensional convolution over an input signal composed of several input planes. It is an easy mathematical operation in which we skid a matrix or kernel of weights over 2D data and performs element-wise multiplication with the data. Now, we will understand the concept of the PyTorch NN Con 2D with the help of an example. So, here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing the library, here we are describing a variable with scare kernels and equal stride and after that we are describing the variable by using torch.random function and then we are declaring the output variable and in the last we want to print the output by using print function now execute this cell and you can see that the pytorch nn con 2d with scare kernel and equal styled values are printed on the screen now move forward and discuss about PyTorch NN Functional Conf 2D. 
the pitot chain in functional con 2d applies a two dimensional convolution over an input image collecting from several input planes the syntax of the pitot chain in con the syntax of the pitot chain in functional con 2d is Dot dot nn dot functional dot con 2d function and within this function we are using some parameters. The first parameter is input. Input is defined as an input tensor of shape. The next parameter is weight. Weight is defined as a filter of shape. The next parameter is bias. Bias is defined as an optional bias tensor of shape. The default value of bias is none. The next parameter is stride. The stride of the convolving kernel, the default value of stride is 1. The next parameter is padding. It is used to control the amount of padding applied to the input. It can be either string or a tuple of giving the amount of implicit padding. The default value of padding is 0. The next parameter is dilation. The dilation is used to control the spacing between the kernel elements and the default value of dilation is 1. The next and last parameter is groups. The groups are used to control the connection between the inputs and outputs. The default value of groups is 1. Now move forward and discuss about the PyTorch NN Con2D padding same. The PyTorch NN Con2D padding same is defined as a parameter that is used to control the amount of padding that is applied to the input. It can be either string or tuple of the given amount of implicit padding and the default value of padding is 0. Now, we will understand the concept of the PyTorch NN Con2D padding same with the help of an example. So, here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing the libraries, here we are describing the variable with scare kernels and equal stride and after that, we are also describing a variable with non-scare kernels and unequal stride and with padding. And then we are describing the input variable. And after that, we are printing the output variable by using print function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch NN Con2D padding value is printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about the PyTorch NN Con2D group. The PyTorch NN Con2D group is defined as a parameter that is used to control the connection between the inputs and outputs and the default value of group is 1. Now we will understand the concept of the PyTorch NN Con2D group with the help of an example. So here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing the libraries, here we are describing a variable with scare kernels and equal stride. And after that, we are describing the input and output variables by using torch.random function. And in the last, we want to print the output variable by using print function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch NN Con2D groups values is printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch NN Con2D dilation. The PyTorch NN Con2D dilation is defined as a parameter that is used to control the spacing between the kernel elements and the default value of dilation is 1. Now we will understand the concept of the PyTorch NN Con2D dilation with the help of an example. So here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing the libraries, here we are declaring a variable with scare kernels and equal stride. And after that, we are declaring a variable with non-scare kernels and unequal strides and with padding. And then we also 
describing a variable with non scare kernels and unequal stride and with padding and dilation and after that we are declaring the variables by using toast.random function and then we want to print the output variables by using print function now execute this cell and you can see that the pytorch and then con 2d dilation values are printed on the screen so with this we have covered all the topics related to the pytorch and then con 2d if this video was helpful please like this video also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this one and here are some YouTube video suggestion that you must watch. Thank you. Have a nice day.